Hi everyone, so I also want to talk about my top 5 favorite Pokemon to use when it comes to the Battle Subway or the Pokemon World Tournament. So this is like in no particular order, I find that all 5 of these Pokemon are really really strong, really really cheap, and pretty much can destroy anything. So let's get into it, shall we? So the first one I wanted to talk about was Cloyster. So Cloyster, since Generation 5, Cloyster already got like a huge, huge helping hand through the move Shell Break. So the set I have in mind is Cloyster with skill links, either Life Orb, Metronome, Razor Fang, or King's Rock. And the attacks would include Icicle Spear, Rock Blast, either Waterfall or Ice Shard, both are pretty good. And of course Shell Break, or Shell Smash, I don't know what it's called. I play the Japanese game. So the whole idea of this set is that you use Shell Break or Shell Smash, whatever it's called, and you spam the crap out of moves like Rock Blast and Icicle Spear, which take full advantage of skill link. You can use the item Life Orb to boost up the power of your multi-hit attacks. You can use Metronome in conjunction with spamming just one of those attacks to deal even more damage, and you can use the item King's Rock or the item Razor Fang to help you flinch Pokemon and take full advantage of Skilling. Because Skilling makes it so that way moves like Icicle Spear and Rock Blast hit five times, so you have five times the chances of making like a Pokemon flinch through the item. So that's pretty cheap. Like with Shell Smash though, like you might not really need to flinch the opponent because Cloyster gets huge attack boost, and Cloyster's attack set's not that bad already, so. When you do the math, Cloyster can pretty much destroy any dragon type with this combination. So I totally recommend using this set. It's a great physical sweeper. So the next set, it belongs to Glycor. So the item that I'd recommend for this Glycor set is the Toxic Orb. After your turn, Glycor gets poisoned. And also, Glycor in Generation 5 gained the move Acrobatics. But I'll get into that in a second. So the set is Stealth Rock, Acrobatics, Fling, and Earthquake. What I love about this set is what you can do with it. There's a lot of setting up involved with it, but once you get like the setup done, and Glycor's got pretty good physical defense, so if you're up against like a physical lead, you should be fine. So what it does is you start by setting up Stealth Rock, so Toxic Orb activates. The next turn you use Fling, which poisons the opponent, and gets rid of your item. Then the turn after that you can use Acrobatics, and Acrobatics on its own it's normally pretty weak, but when you don't have an item, its power doubles. But since you also have Stab, Acrobatics power triples. So now, instead of having a base power of 55, it now has a base power of 165. That's more than Giga Impact. It takes advantage of Icecore's fairly strong physical attack, so that's already a pretty good attacking option, and if you don't want to use that, you can always use Earthquake. And what I like about using st setting up Stealth Rock in the first turn is that if your opponent tries to like switch into like an Ice type to go and counter Gliscor, they take a substantial amount of damage from Stealth Rock, and if they had like a Focus Sash or something, they can't really use it because it got cancelled. So I really like this set because it's pretty like 75% of the time I'd say that Gliscor can successfully sweep a team just with the set, so long as it sets it up ASAP. Alrighty, so the third one that I'd like to talk about is Alkazam. In Gen 5, Alkazam gained the ability Magic Guard, which basically prevents it from taking damage from like Sandstorm, Hail, Life Orb, Recoil Damage, Toxic, Leech Seed. So it can only be damaged by attacks. The set that I find that takes the best advantage of Alakazam's incredibly high special attack stat, as well as its pretty amazing speed, is giving it Life Orb, Magic Guard, and just all special attacks. So Psychic, Focus Blast, Shadow Ball, and Energy Ball or Thunderbolt. Like this set, it gives Alakazam a huge amount of coverage. Focus Blast, it's effective against five types. Psychic's effective against two types. Ghost is effective against two types. Energy Ball is effective against three types, and Thunderbolt is effective against two types. So no matter how you really like want to go and mix and match it, these types will all, like any four of these moves, but especially Focus Blast, will have a lot of coverage and pretty much just like spam Alkazam's new ability, take full advantage of Life Orb, and Alkazam's amazing stats. So the fourth Pokemon on my list would be Salamence. So Salamence, it gained the new ability Moxie, which Basically what happens is if Salamence KOs a Pokemon, it gains a boost in its attack stat. 
This is a hidden ability, so you can only get it in Dream World, but it's really cheap. So, the set I'm considering with Salamence, it's all out physical. Like how Alakazam is all out special, Salamence uses Moxie with a choice scarf to go and boost up. It's pretty mediocre speed, and it has moves like Earthquake and Outrage and Aqua Tail and Iron Head, because Iron Head can cover against Rock and Ice Head. Two types that Salamence is weak to. Aqua Tail covers against Rock types, which again is a weakness. Earthquake covers against Rock types, Steel types. Earthquake's just a very solid attack in general with pretty good coverage, and Outrage is just there for staff. Like, if you spam Salamence's new ability with a choice item, choice scarf, or choice ban, as well as, like, a strong physical set, it's pretty much, like, destined to destroy anything in its path. So I totally recommend having a Moxie Salamence on your team if you want, like, a quick, fast, very easy battle. Now my last one, it's one of my favorites because it's been one of my favorite Pokemon for a long time, and that is my Lodic. So in Generation 5, my Lodic didn't get like any cool new special abilities that it, that it could actually like use in battle. Its hidden ability is Cute Charm, which is like vastly inferior to Marvel skill. But my Lodic did gain two things that really helped it out. The first one is Scald, which is the new water attack that makes use of my Lodix's fairly decent special attack stat, as well as has a chance of burning the opponent. And when a Pokemon is burned, their attack stat gets halved, which means that my Lodic's slightly lower, well, actually vastly lower physical defense stat could actually hold up against physical attackers now. The second thing that my Lodic has to its disposal in Generation 5 is the Rocky Helmet. And what the Rocky Helmet does is that whenever my Lodic is victim to like a physical attack, the physical attacker gets damage every time they attack my Lodic. So in correlation with Rest, which uses Marvel Scale, what Marvel Scale does is when my Lodic has a status, its defense is multiplied by 1.5, which means that its physical defense is actually pretty freaking high now. And I think it even surpasses my Lodic's high stat, which is special defense. And also, Rest fully heals my Lodic, which is pretty freaking awesome. And I like to combine that with Sleep Talk, which lets my Lodic randomly use one of its moves, which is a bit risky, but with my Lodic's high defense, it can take a couple risks, honestly. So it can either use Scald, which has a chance of burning the opponent, thus further weakening any physical attackers against my Lodic, or it could access Icy Wind, which will lower the opponent's speed. Like this Milotic set, it's not really offensive, it's more of like a wall or a tank, but I like to use it because it pretty much cripples your opponents and it's a good way to aggravate people if you're battling against them. And if you just want to like get in their way and use a Pokemon that's like really going to screw with them. Plus, this set, it's really reliable. I mean, even Wallace uses it in the Pokemon World Tournament. And that already says enough about like how solid of a combination it is. Because this Milotic is brutal. So that's my top 5 recommended Pokemon to use in the Battle Subway or the Pokemon World Tournament. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have your own favorite Pokemon that you like to use in either the Battle Subway or Pokemon World Tournament, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I will see you guys soon.